on my weekly schedule, I have time for eating, and that eating is my relaxation time. So I, when I eat, I watch TV because those two things go together. You, you can't have TV, you can't have food actually without eating. I think if you have food no, and there's if no, if it's the other way around, I can't see <laughs> about food. That's why you end up being <laughs> complete glutted. <laughs> Advent Fit is a podcast that has a holistic approach to physical, spiritual, and mental well-being. In each episode, we share productive ways to live a healthier and happier lifestyle. Unlike other podcasts in this space, Advent Fit gives you a comprehensive approach to fitness without the fluff for the everyday Christian. Scheduling is very important in fitness and in life. There's a famous quote that says, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. I think I said that on an early episode or something, but I'm not sure. I, you may have said it before, but I know my dad has said it many times growing up. And it's reported to have said by um, Benjamin Franklin, but you, I don't know. You know, it's the internet, so you never know. I mean, Benjamin Franklin has said, like, every famous quote out there. Yeah, so. Anything that is like, we don't know who said this. Maybe Benjamin, Benjamin Franklin. Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there are many benefits to having a schedule. Having a schedule improves proficiency, helps develop a routine, decreases stress, increases free time, and you can make time for what is meaningful to you. You do not need to rush into things. I, I love putting together a schedule. Even if I don't follow the schedule, I like to just think of the hypothetical schedule yeah, I like to put yeah. together. I uh, like I have like plans for for this year. Uh, and before this year even happened, I was already coming up with my schedule for the for months in advance. Yeah, I'm obsessed with schedule. I think it's just my personality. Like I made a schedule. For, I, make, I make a schedule for everything. For my weekly schedule, I have a schedule for my breaks. I made a schedule for my winter break, which was um, I made a schedule for 93 to get some work done. And I, I spent about 30 minutes planning it. And I ended up over scheduling because I did absolutely nothing. Like I spent no time on my schedule. I just played around and just relaxed. So that's what got me through college. I actually spent like all of orientation week. Every every semester, I would spend all of orientation week just planning my schedule for an entire uh, semester. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and that's what got me through it. Yeah. I mean, scheduling definitely helps. Like I love making my schedule. And I, I, when I follow it, it, it works out. But a good thing to keep in mind for if you're making schedules, do not overschedule. Overscheduling and, and planning too many things will have you doing absolutely nothing. Because, like, especially when your schedule is, like, that tight. Yeah. Uh, when you miss one thing, it's like a domino effect. All of a sudden, it's like, I, I guess I'm just watching yeah. Netflix today. If something is going to take half an hour to do, maybe schedule an a hour block to do it. And if you plan to schedule your weekdays, uh, make sure you stick some time to relax. Make, make sure you have some time to relax because relaxation is not optional. It is, it is essential to your health. Yeah, you got to put in, you got to like actually make time for, for, for yourself. Yeah. And if you have a family, make time for family. Because for me, on my weekly schedule, I have time for eating and that eating is my relaxation time so i when i eat i watch tv because those two things go together you, you can't have tv you can't have food actually without eating i think if you have food no, and there's if no if it's the other way around i can't see <laughs> about food that's you like you end up being complete glutted <laughs> i mean you can't have a uh, food without tv i feel like if you have food and there's no tv or nothing to watch like the food is being wasted it's not as enjoyable like so you're basically saying that uh every meal time has to be at least 22 minutes at, at least 22 <laughs> minutes. You have, to, you have to left in it out. At least 22 minutes. I mean, if you watch something like Teen Titans Go, it could be like 10 minutes. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. My, my, my meal times, most of my, my shows that I watch are at least 40 minutes, though. You know, I got to eat a little bit slower. Like. Every time I eat and I'm watching something, it's done before even like the opening like oh, yeah, credit yeah, yeah. starts. Especially for movies. Like, I gotta, That's what I'm saying. Like, there's, there's great trailers. Like, ah. Oh. But then I gotta I gotta wait not not my food during the during the trailers to wait for the actual movie to happen. Well, I I definitely believe in in scheduling time to, for relaxation for our family. For me, every week I try to have a, a standing appointment to just hang out with like my sister. I mean, not just know? family too. Family is definitely important, but like but, for yourself, you're like you time, like me time. Mm, like you need to, some like block time. off like two hours. Like hey, you know, I have nothing hardcore that I need to do. No responsibilities. It's just free time. Yeah. Time for yourself. You need to, you know, don't forget about yourself when you're scheduling and prioritizing your stuff in your life. And when you have that time, free time, that gives you more energy for when you're doing more responsible things. Yeah, Think can, about when you're in school. Free time was like, oof, you, you needed that free time. If, yeah. if anything happened, you're like, ah, sorry, we're skipping free time. All of us, That's all you're thinking about. Yeah, you, you can't yeah. get no work done. Yeah, because when you have free time, you know, you're happier. You, you have more time to think. And then you can, you're, you're, you're more agreeable with, with people. You're, yeah, people will like you more when you have more time for yourself. Like, if you don't have any time for yourself, you're working all the time, you're going to be 
uh, more angry. You're not going to be as agreeable and you're not going to be as fun to be around for people. So, and I think it's good to schedule things you like to do, you know, like, so not just only your job, but schedule like some of your hobbies. I mean, we're avid fit. We believe in fitness. So I think it's good to schedule your meal times. And it's also good to schedule your workout times. Because if you prioritize yourself, you prioritize others. Because helping yourself helps others. Having a daily and nightly routine is very important as well. You want to start and end your day right. A good nightly routine will positively impact your sleep. Good things to incorporate into a night routine is to read and to meditate. Also, stop using electronics at least an hour before bedtime. Yeah, you that that takes some planning. Yeah, but I, I definitely, most of the time, I keep to that. I try to keep to that every single day, but most of the time, at least an hour before bedtime, I'm not using anything. And at least maybe an hour and a half, I have like my blue light glasses on. So when I'm doing some work before. Your my what night, glasses? My blue light blocking glasses. So this like it's some some of them have an orange tint on it. Some of them are clear, but they so still. So it's blue, but you say it's orange. No, no, it, it blocks blue light. So use a so different color blue. to get rid of the blue. Yeah, and some of them are orange. Some of them are clear, but they both do the same thing. I'm not sure if the orange ones are better. I'm not sure, but they block blue light and they're definitely important for whoever uses the computer a lot i use that for even before i'm going to sleep like sometimes when i when i'm with do my zoom classes i have my blue light blocking glasses on what's wrong with blue light anyway i don't know all the science about it but i know that it impacts your sleep and even if you're using it throughout the day like your eyes get tired and you get like i get headaches when i'm looking at the computer for too long really? like if i'm looking at the computer for too long i start getting headaches yeah i don't feel that good so i have my black black glasses so i can feel better so i can use a computer for for longer or, or i just put my computer on a gray scale and that helps it as well oh, okay That's interesting. you don't have any issues when you use a computer for a long time i mean there, uh during uh the lockdown there was some, there were some days where i was like i just was like I, I was uh, having like a headache or something like that. Yeah. I normally don't get headaches, but during the lockdown, because I was on my computer a lot, yeah. that happened a couple of times. Because I'm in front of the screen for a full class day. And then even after that's over, I still have some. Well, if you're teaching, if you're as a teacher, if you're, if you're teaching classes remotely, yeah. Then, yeah, you're on your computer, like basically nonstop. And then after school, I have to grade work where I'm also on my computer. And then for relaxation, like sometimes I want to watch TV. So that's more light. So. Does a television actually have blue light too? Every single device that has that's not like a a e read or e ink has blue light. Oh, interesting. So your phone, everything has blue light. So that's yeah. why I put on. I think the yeah the grayscale definitely you know stops the blue light, but I think it's still not as not not um as you know just safe and tame for your eyes as an e reader. Like an e reader mm. doesn't really bother your eyes at all because it's it's e ink. It's something different. Oh yeah, yeah. That's not that's not a um, it's not a backlight screen. Yeah. Yeah. Having a scheduled workout time exceptionally increases your chances of showing up to the workout. Showing up is half the battle. Just showing up is crucial to success in fitness and in life. When you schedule a time for your workout, make sure that you schedule enough time to complete your workout. You don't want to be rushing through your workout. No, I think you're absolutely right about half the battle because you have to have a schedule of what you're going to do at the gym. If you just show up at the gym and you don't, and you're like, and you just start grabbing weights and you don't know what you're going to do, you have no schedule, have no plan, then you're going to plan to fail. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Not only is the time for your workout important, but what you plan to do in the workout is definitely, might even be, yeah, more important. So make sure that when you're planning your workout, make sure that it's not too ambitious make sure it's not too easy you want to have like a a, a good middle what was i talking about what was it's not the it's the goldilocks yeah you don't want to have it's not it shouldn't be you know too cold or too hot it should be just right what did you call it earlier today before we uh, record <laughs> bears bears, bears? bears yes it's i don't the, know the, the is that the same goldilocks and the three bears so Ber- what is bernstein bears that's a, a a book where like these animals have clothes there's no these bears have clothes there's no goldilocks there's no goldilocks in the bernstein oh, bears really? i have no idea <laughs> i don't know my childhood is lost but anyway uh make sure that you you have your workout on paper right and, or you can have it if you have it, on, you have it on my phone if you have it on your phone i guess that's that's good as well, you know. I have it on the Excel sheet, actually, on my phone. Maybe it's even better, but I'm, but it, it might be harder to to write things. Excel I, is I guess life. I can, I can. Excel is life. If you want to excel in life, you need to make sure Excel is life. I saw something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I should get paid by Excel I'm by Microsoft right now. And you can go to the website and just get half off. Just type in Evan Fit. <laughs> make sure that you track your progress. Also, when you're uh, you're making a workout. 
make sure that you change it up every single month. Because if you have it, if you have the same workout throughout the whole year, your body's going to get adapted to it, and you're not going to make as much progress as you would if you changed it up. I mean, and that's why it's good to maybe even follow some schedules that are already written out by by some people. You know, like so, uh, some uh, great uh, internet personalities have like a like a like a, a routine or a schedule of different things. Mm. You know, and you know where you can find a great <laughs> personalized workout plan. Haven't fit that mm. org. Oh. Exactly. Oh, I read your you mind. You can find it on <laughs> adventfit.org. So you can go right now and get your free. Did I? Is it? Is it paid? What, what was it? What was it? I think it's free. It, it, it's free. <laughs> you can get your free personalized week plan on the AdventFit website. They got to sign up for the email list this week. Yeah, you sign up for this this week and you get your free one week personalized AdventFit workout plan. Also, if you're strength training, uh, make sure you don't strength train for longer than 90 minutes because like we said before if you're strength training for longer than 90 minutes then you're gonna raise up the cortisol in your body not cortisol what is it what did i say what you thought cortisol, I said before? Cortisol. Cor- cortisol yeah you're gonna raise up the cortisol in your body and you don't want that oh, isn't cortisol for- love <laughs> cor- cor- you, you want more love in your life <laughs> you do, definitely do want some more love in your life but you don't want any more cortisol in your life anyway <laughs> that is all for our podcast for today this is good stuff man this is good stuff uh, talking about scheduling, you know, you should probably everybody listening. You should probably schedule time every week to listen to some Advent Fit podcasts. Definitely. Well, if you want to find more about us, you can follow us on our social media accounts. You can find mine's on WayneJamel.com. And if you can find me on Instagram.com/slash Mr. Woke. That's W H O K E. So until next time, I'm Wayne Jamel. And I'm C. Jeffrey White, and the C is for click because I want you to go to the website and click on the free personalized one-week plan, and we'll see you next week, folks.